We are in Asbury Park, New Jersey with Mimi. I'm first. How are you? I'm good. How are you, baby? Very good. Please explain where are we? Because I thought tonight I was going to see Raja. And tonight, look, I'm seeing Mimi. I've, I've held her hostage, actually. Um, tonight, it's first and first. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, first place, Raja, and myself, Mimi, I'm first. So. Are we at the Absolute RuPaul's Drag Race Absolute Tour? Tonight is actually, it's uh, it's not one of the real fruit stops, but it is uh, it is an absolute sponsored evening. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun. What's really exciting is you you spend a lot of time in New York and Philadelphia and D.C., but you've never been to Asbury Park? I, I drive past it all the time. I've never stopped, and I'm just so excited, actually. I was Everyone's here been here. Rue, Crystal Waters, Junior Vasquez. Mm -hmm. How did you skip this venue? I have no idea, but I'm here now, and now they're not going to be able to get rid of me. So I got to see you hanging out by the pool. What are your thoughts on Asbury Park? Oh my New Jersey God. gets a bad rap from some folks, and others just love it. What did you see today? I had so much fun. I, I, was, I was drunk by 4 o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon, so that's a good place to me. Any place that just keeps giving me booze, I, I'm a fan of. Let's speak about a good place, Excel. You shot on what subway line? We shot, all right, so the music video for my uh, song Party Girl with my band Excel, available on iTunes. Um, the, we shot the video in one take on an actual moving subway train without a permit from the city of New York. What uh, line? On the uh, N line. Heading in which direction? Towards Manhattan. So fans, if you are a fan of the band, get on the N line, get your pictures taken going towards Manhattan, is that yes. correct? Of course, it was genius because the next morning when I got on the train, uh, there was confetti still on the train. <laughs> I felt bad because we, we actually we did we did a couple different takes. We kept doing it until we got the take. We were happy because it all had to be done one take with no editing. So we kept doing it. So we had we had like seven different sh shots, you know, takes to choose from, and. Uh, so every time we got off the train and abandoned it and started again to shoot the to shoot it again, and uh, I felt bad for whoever was on the other end of the subway line. Can you imagine all these trains coming in with just confetti one after the other? Like what is going on? Well, maybe none of that is true because we know the best things about drag are fake. What was real about that video and what was fake? Um, the fake was our sense of of of, of calmness in the People face. were dancing. Oh there was it lights. Was, I mean, it what was the was hardest real? thing. I've, was it was really the hardest thing I've take? ever done. Well, really, one take. It was very hard because it took a lot of planning. It took months to plan it because we literally were doing it one take. We had extras at every train stop. So those were planned. So well, all, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There were folks on the train no. who were like, "Oh, I like this song." No, so that was planned. We started on. We start. We waited for an empty train. Um, and uh, and we loaded on, and we have people waiting at the stops for the tra party train to pull up. Okay. And uh, and uh, it was just it was a matter of keep doing it, but it was so hard because the train was moving. You can actually on if you go on YouTube, there's a behind the scenes sure. documentary about Wasn't it. Wasn't that out first? Uh, no, the the documentary came out after the video. Um, we it's a 30 minute documentary, and it, you can literally see the behind the scenes. We had a second camera shooting us shooting it, and you can see the insanity of literally filming it in one take on an actual moving train. If you have not seen this video, I implore you to go find it. It's been on broadcast television. If you missed it, go search it on the web. It's wild. It's so New York. It's the reason why a lot of people move to New York. It's so alive. Well, it was talk about it when you moved to letter. LA. Let, oh, it was a love letter. Well, the video was really a love letter to New York City and 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 sort of an homage to the outlaw parties of the early 90s, what that all the club kids were doing. You know, Michael Allen, Michael Allen, like the, yeah. the Burger King, the mm -hmm. McDonald's yeah, yeah. parties. So where should we expect to find you next? And can I ask you a fashion question? Which one are you ready for? Whatever you want, baby. Okay, so I'm ready to see you in big poofy blonde wigs. And look at you, you're a glamazon, you're a spice girl, you're <laughs> fiery red. Did negative reaction to your incident of lifting folks up on RuPaul's Drag, drag Race inspire you to re Invent yourself? Because this is all new. I've never seen you no. do this hot vixen look. I think I'm always... I'm always mixing up. Like later in the show, you'll actually see me in some crazy campy stuff. I like to do both. You know, the sad thing is I was only in RuPaul's Drag for such a small period of time. People only got to see one side of me. You know, people think that that's it. It's so, it's so TV's a kind of a two dimensional medium. So they only see it at face What would they have seen about you if it was 3D? This is 3D. <laughs> it's real. And well, this is it. Um, you know, I like to mix it up. I really do. I, I, I really believe that you always have something to learn, regardless if you are a contestant of RuPaul's Drag Race or RuPaul herself. We all have something to learn. And the minute that you, that you stop trying to learn and do new things, that's when you fail. What did you learn from that experience? Um, I learned to trust myself. I really did. I think that was the hardest well, thing. Come on, I've seen you go up there and embrace risks time after time mm -hmm. in New York and Fire Island. I mean, that's very courageous. Well, tell me how you really trusted yourself after that experience. I I, I learned that I that I that uh, you have to be who you are at all costs, 
and that you know like sometimes it doesn't make sense while it's happening and that was my cer certainly my experience while watching RuPaul's Drag Race and getting uh, you know cr uh, a lot of negative <laughs> criticism you know you, you you really learn to just trust in yourself and, and block that out did you do it on purpose I mean the folks on reality television who get the most press get negative criticism did you do it on purpose uh, no, I ha I did not go in there with the intention of like I'm gonna like create this thing. What's funny is you're literally seeing like you know a very small fraction of what was actually filmed. You know every episode takes many days to sure, film. Yeah. So you know you're seeing you're seeing an hour of of two days worth of footage. So uh, you know it's producers choose to zoom in on certain aspects. So you know it's in editing. It really is, and and you it's like again go back at thing. You need to know who you are to know that that's not really you. Zoom 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 zoom. No, down. Ah! zoom. Zoom in. No, no, drag is a no. Five. All subtleties lost after five. We want to fix your hair. Yeah, just. just. Mimi, <laughs> zoom into your future. Where would you like us to find you? I, I think uh, the future is with my band Excel. I really do. Um, we've the been, all the all girl pop band. Yes, it's the it's actually the first girl group where where one of the girls is a girl. So um, it's gonna. I really think it's gonna be uh, revolutionary. It's gonna change. The song is amazing. I, I have to applaud you for that. I do yeah. enjoy the track, and I thought the video was a lot of fun. Oh, well, so. thank you. Well, we, we no lip service. I really uh, like this. People. Thank you. I really did. Well, we're in the works of the album right now. Um, we we've recorded at least half of it. We're unsure exactly how many tracks it's going to be, but the songs are amazing. This, I'm not. I've never heard music like this. It's it's it's. You know, when when off when I hear a record, I'm like, oh, that sounds like that. That's that. I can't quite put a finger on what this album is. It's a little bit of Kesha. It's a little bit. Of, it's a lot of ABBA. Um, it's got like sort of the energy of the Spice Girls. It's very strange. So it's it's good. It's. I just can't wait. It, well, instead of pushing the envelope, why don't we just. Tear it open! I don't push the envelope, I deliver Tear it open! Checking in with Mimi on first, right here in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Yes. <laughs>